Good morning, graduates, family, and friends. I am Amy Kaler, and I serve as the Vice President for Academic Affairs at St. Charles Community College. On behalf of the faculty, the staff, and administration, and the trustees of St. Charles Community College, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2023 St. Charles Community College Commencement Ceremony. <clears throat> Thank you to the SCC Concert Band, directed by Jim Martin, for providing such great instrumental music today. I'm happy to introduce the Student Government Association Parliamentarian, Mr. Ibrahim Zachariah, did I do it right? <laughs> Who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please remain standing for our national anthem. Sorry. I tried to get up here quickly. Please remain standing for our national anthem led by the SCC Chamber Choir, conducted by Associate Professor Becky Thorne and accompanied by Ms. Marta Edler. Please be seated as the SEC Chamber Choir performs Kuamba Nafsi Yangu.
It's now my honor to introduce our platform guests, beginning with the St. Charles Community College Board of Trustees, with whom the ultimate responsibility for the governance of the college rests. First, let me introduce Pam Selick, Vice President of our Board of Trustees. Shirley Lomar. I'd also like to recognize our trustees who were unable to attend the ceremony today. President Mary Stodden, Secretary Jean Elman, Treasurer Mike Listener, and Trustee Rose Mack. In addition to the Board of Trustees, I'd like to introduce our President, Dr. Barbara Cavalier. Mr. Todd Galbiers, Senior Vice President for Administrative Services. Mr. John Weeman, Vice President for Workforce and Strategic Initiatives. SEC's 2023 keynote speaker, Mr. Randy Schilling. Our student speaker, Carson Howe. The outgoing president of the Faculty Association, Mr. Corey Porter. I would also like to recognize some other notable people who have joined us this morning. Terry Edrick, Vice President for Human Resources. <laughs> Betsy Schneider, Executive Director of the Foundation and Chief of Staff. <laughs> Dr. Nicole Panair, Associate Professor of Biology. Ms. Bryony Carter, Professor of English, our 2023 Commencement Faculty Marshals, Tiffany Slagle and Brianna Lewis. They are the 2023 Student Commencement Marshals. Once again, it is my honor to introduce you to the President of St. Charles Community College, Dr. Barbara Cavalier, who will provide a brief welcome. Thank you, Vice President Kaler. This year, approximately 800 students have met the academic requirements to become candidates for graduation with an associate degree, and more than 100 students have earned certificate candidacy for a total of approximately 900 degrees and certificates awarded this year. And today, more than 300 students will be walking across the stage. Yes. As a student at St. Charles Community College, you gained the skills and knowledge needed to graduate with a degree or a certificate. Whether you mastered the core competencies of general education, improved your writing and computation skills, or completed skills training for a new job, SEC has prepared you well to succeed in the next stage of your journey. You have also benefited from the wisdom of our extraordinary faculty members who have introduced you to the world of higher education and inspired you to achieve great things. As you leave the ceremony today to begin a new chapter in your life, I encourage you to seek out the beauty in the world around you. Pursue your new goals with passion and dedication and always strive to explore, create, and embrace new experiences for education is a lifelong endeavor. I want to share a quote from the poet John Keats that I believe is particularly fitting for this occasion. Do not be afraid of greatness. Some are bo born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. Whether you are born with a natural talent or have worked hard to achieve your goals, 
know that you have the potential for greatness within you. So go out into this wonderful world and make your mark. And always remember the power of education to inspire, to move, and to absolutely transform. We are so proud of all that you have accomplished. Congratulations, graduates. It is now my honor to bring to the podium our Vice President of Workforce and Strategic Initiatives, Mr. John Weeman, who will introduce our keynote speaker. A lot of short people around here. Give me a second. I'll make do. We are honored this morning to have Mr. Randy Schilling, Chief Executive Officer and founder of MuniBit, delivering our keynote address today. As a passionate entrepreneur, Randy has also owns, owns and founded OPO, OPO Startups, an innovation hub and co-working space designed to foster collaboration and growth among entrepreneurs, freelancers, remote workers, and small businesses. Randy's extensive entrepreneurial background includes founding BoardPack, which is an in intuitive and secure board portal for streamlining paperless board leadership and committee meetings, and also founded Quilogy, a nationally managed Microsoft system integrator, which originated in St. Charles, Missouri. Randy holds a Bachelor's of Science degree in Electrical Engineering from the University of Missouri, Columbia, and also an MBA from the University of Illinois, Springfield. His exceptional business acumen and entrepreneurial success have led to prestigious recognitions, including being named the 2000 Small Business Administration's Missouri Small Business Person of the Year, and in 1997, the Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year in Technology category for the St. Louis region. A proud longtime resident of his hometown of St. Charles, Missouri, Randy actively contributes to numerous business and civic organizations. With a solid educational foundation and a history of outstanding achievements, Randy Schilling continues to make a significant impact on both the local and national business landscape. Please join me in welcoming SEC's 2023 commencement keynote speaker, Mr. Randy Schilling. John, thank you for adjusting this microphone for me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, esteemed faculty, proud parents, and most importantly, the 2023 graduating class of St. Charles Community College. Welcome to this momentous day. It is a privilege and an honor to address you on this special occasion. I stand before you today not as a speaker, but also as a proud graduate of St. Charles High School, class of 1981. Do we have any pirates out in the audience? <laughs> my experience in the community has shaped me, and it is with great pleasure that I share my insights with all of you. The title of today's, of my address today, is Because Things Change. Navigating five transformative decades in technology this phrase bears a particular meaning for me because things changed was the tagline and the guiding mantra for Quilogy, the first technology company I founded back in 1992. Reflecting on the past, it's astonishing to consider the magnitude of transformation that occurred over the years, from the establishment of Quilogy to progressing to BoardPack, OPO Startups, and MuniBet. Each venture was a step on an extraordinary journey, all enabled by the remarkable technology advancements through the decades. Back when I sat in your seat, in my graduation chair, such a voyage was beyond my wildest dreams. I didn't think this would ever happen. 
So I go back to 1980. 1980, the first decade I'm going to talk about, in addition to being my college and early work experience years, the 80s ushered in an era of personal computing highlighted by a significant milestone back in August of 1981. That's the year I graduated from St. Charles High. This is when IBM introduced the first personal computer, better known as the IBM PC, to the world. This revolutionary invention transformed the way we work, the way we play and communicate. Where computers were once massive machines that took up multiple rooms, they were now compact devices that would sit on a desktop, whether it be at work or in your living room at home, readily accessible to individuals and families alike. The 1980s were truly a decade of the PC, and it set the stage for amazing advancements that were to come. As we entered the 1990s, the work became interconnected through the internet. This period was marked by an extraordinary invention by Tim Berners-Lee, an um, English computer scientist who designed the first World Wide Web browser. This innovation signified a departure from an era where information was primarily housed in books or printed media. Instead, knowledge was now readily available and accessible to our fingertips. The 1990s indeed heralded the age of the internet, a time that connected people across the globe in remarkable ways, accelerating a new era of communication, commerce, and learning. Now, the new millennium brought about another paradigm shift. This was about in June 2007 at the annual Macworld conference. And um, you know Steve Jobs held up that device we all have in our pocket, the iPhone, forever changing the landscape of technology. The 2000s were divine, defined by the ubiquity of mobile devices, enabling us to access the internet and communicate with one another practically from anywhere. This mobile revolution forever changed computing by putting device in everyone's pocket. So the rise of the PC, the internet, and mobile computing were the catalyst behind our first company, Quilogy, which specialized in crafting internet-enabled software for large companies and organizations. The rapid expansion of this technology fueled Quilogy's growth for nearly 20 years, propelling us to a peak of 18 offices and 500 employees. The journey with Quilogy was a testament to change itself. In 2001, we attracted an investment from none other than Microsoft, culminating in the company's sale to Aspect Software in 2010. The next decade of the teens, the 2010s, we saw the rise of cloud computing, with giants like Amazon and Microsoft dominating the industry. This technology shift allowed businesses and individuals to store and process massive amounts of data on remote servers, thereby increasing efficiency and lowering cost. So following from Quilogy, our next venture was BoardPack, established itself as a leading provider of board of director software. BoardPack was recognized for being the first board of director software to leverage the power of these cloud services. This innovative approach led to rapid growth for BoardPack, market leadership position among community banks and credit unions, eventually culminating in BoardPack's acquisition by Diligent in 2019. So we sold that business at that time. Gave my daughter a job. She still works there. So, <laughs> um, The teens were the decade of cloud computing. It has shaped the way we store, access, and process information. And now, as we gather here in 2023, the midst of the decade of artificial intelligence, AI, like ChatGPT, is transforming our lives in countless ways, from self-driving cars to personalized medicine. AI has the potential to make our world smarter, safer, and more efficient. Our most recent company, MuniBit, which was launched just last year, this groundbreaking venture provides comprehensive website solutions for small municipalities, leveraging the power of AI-driven content creation tools and technologies. Now, as graduates of St. Charles Community College, I'm sure you have all already discovered ChatGPT, right? 
Well, you guys all use ChatGPT. I'm sure I see a lot of heads nodding. It's a prime example of AI's capabilities. Released just six months ago, ChatGPT is a testament to the power of artificial intelligence, ability to generate text with tremendous skill and nuance. By providing ChatGPT with just the five W's in writing, who, what, where, when, and why, ChatGPT can write just about anything better than most of us. According to a recent Wall Street Journal article, ChatGPT reached an astonishing milestone of over 100 million users in just two months. That's the fastest rate of growth of any app in the, on record. Analysts noted that in comparison, TikTok took nine months to reach that milestone, Instagram 30. This tribute to the incredible impact and potential of AI in our daily lives. Throughout all these decades, the rapid rate of innovation has fueled the evolution of technology, and it's allowed us to create increasingly complex and more powerful devices and software. As a result, the job market has evolved significantly. According to a Golden, according to a Golden Sachs uh, report, 60% of employment in 2018 was found in job titles that did not exist in the 1940s. That's 60%. This demonstrates the incredible, the incredible pace of change in the world of work, and it underscores the importance of adaptability and lifelong learning. As you embark on the next chapter of your lives, remember that change is ever-present and constant. While change can often seem daunting, it also ushers in a wealth of fresh opportunities. The world will continue to evolve. Technology will persistently advance, get messy, and embrace these changes. With open arms, maintain an insatiable appetite for learning, and never lose your sense of curiosity. Utilizing the power of technology to leave your lasting Im impact on the world and help forge a better future for all of us. Congratulations to the class of 2023. May your journey be filled with innovation, growth, and success. Thank you. It's now my pleasure to introduce the 2022-2023 Faculty Association President and the 2023 Faculty of the Year, Mr. Corey Porter, Professor of English. Good morning, everyone. My name is Corey Porter, and I am a professor in the St. Charles Community College English Department. This year, I also had the fortune of serving as the Faculty Association President. It is my honor to have been invited here today to speak on behalf of the faculty in celebrating the accomplishments of our graduating students. It is both paramount and my pleasure to recognize the St. Charles Community College Class of 2023. Congratulations, graduates. <laughs> Mr. Schilling? Mr. Schilling. Thank you for your sharing your words with us this morning. Salutations to the members of the Board of Trustees, to Dr. Cavalier, to the members of the Cabinet and Administration, and to other members of the campus and surrounding community who are here today. And to the friends and family of our graduates, I would like to extend to you the warmest of welcomes and to express to you our profound sense of gratitude for your continued support for your loved ones, completing this chapter of their educational journeys. As I said at the onset, I am an English professor, so I will ask you to indulge me for a few moments and to please forgive any belabored metaphors during this digression. And graduates, over the coming hours and days, as you reflect on your time here at St. Charles Community College, I invite you to envision your experiences as a story. In short, a story is a chronological depiction of connected events. This is your story. 
You went to school, worked very hard, and now you're graduating. Now here's what my many English degrees tell me. Plot explains how the events of a story are connected. You went to school and because you worked very hard, you are now graduating. This plot-driven story began with your first day on campus. It continued as you registered for classes, managed your homework and exams, and balanced your coursework with your professional and personal lives. The narrative featured you navigating an ever-shifting educational landscape, reconciling news of current events and your own experiences, and may have even included some side quests with a new AI language model. <laughs> Audiences were gripped as you remained resolute in your commitment to your education, and critics raved at your ability to consistently overcome challenges and uncertainties during your time at St. Charles Community College. Today is a celebration of the hard work the dedication and the sacrifice that has gone into telling this tale. But today's commencement is the culmination of only one chapter. It is up to you whether this morning's ceremony just becomes one day among many in a chronology of loosely connected events, or instead if today furthers your plot and the story goes on. The exposition you have written has prepared you well for what's to come. Values imbued in you here at SCC Respect for, the, uh, respect for and a commitment to lifelong learning, service to the community, inclusivity, accountability, and responsible stewardship. These will serve you well wherever the story takes you, whether you enter the workforce, pursue additional education, or embark on a new experience altogether. You are now equipped to choose your own adventure. So turn the page, keep the story going. And if you find yourself reading ahead, remember that you are not alone. No matter how far afield your journey takes you, you will always have a home in this community. At SCC, you will find an eager audience in the faculty and staff who have had the privilege of reading your work along the way. On behalf of my colleagues, I celebrate you and sing you. Graduates, I wish you the best of luck. Make today a plot point. Keep the story going. Congratulations. Good morning. My name is Todd Galbeers, and I have the privilege of serving as the Senior Vice President for Administrative Services here at the college. It is my pleasure to introduce to you our student speaker, Mr. Carson Howe. Carson has been, very, has been a very active student on the SEC campus. In addition to serving as the President for the Student Government Association, he also served as a member of the Multicultural Student Association. His time here at SEC can be summarized in one word service. He made sure to speak on behalf of the student body while working with faculty, staff, and administrators. He always stepped in to participate when things and get things started. Whether it is an event or an important discussion amongst his peers, Carson made sure everyone has their voices heard and gets things done. Carson will be attending the University of Missouri-St. Louis in the fall to get his bachelor's in political science. He dreams of becoming a public defender and later down the line wishes to continue representing his community by running for political office and maybe even President of the United States. At this time, please join me in welcoming our student speaker, Mr. Carson Howe. Good morning. Thank you. <laughs> to my wonderful friends and family of this wonderful community, to the incredible staff and administrators of SEC, our cherished guest, my fellow graduates. It is an honor to stand before you today, where we are here to celebrate the end of another chapter in our story. But before we head into our following chapters, I'd like to take a few moments with all of you today to reflect on our shared time together. And I ask that you join me in answering one simple question. What defines this moment? An interesting question, no? Today alone, we'll have several moments celebrating our achievements, whether sitting down with family or going out with friends. This moment, why is this moment special? Because unlike those other moments, this moment recognizes all the blood, sweat, and tears you have poured in to make this moment possible for you. We have been through some turbulent times together here at SCC. 
from reopening after a global pandemic to finding our footing in a world where a college degree has been called a foolish waste of money. Through these unprecedented changes, we have found unprecedented challenges. Challenges that have brought many of us to the brink. Yet here we are today, together. And so today, together, we celebrate not just our individual achievements, but celebrate all of us. Everyone here today has made this moment possible, whether that be the faculty members that have worked tirelessly on our behalf, or the members of the SEC staff who work day and night to make sure that everything goes as smoothly as possible. And to our friends, family, and members of the community who've been there when things go wrong and are the first ones to reach out with a helping hand. Together, we should all feel inspired by our work, not just what we've done, but what we've done as a college and as a greater community. Our trials and tribulations have led us all to this moment. But we wouldn't have come here without the people surrounding us today, the people that you brought with you. And that's what I call SCC Connections. If it wasn't for our connections with each other and our wider community, flip the page a little too early, <laughs> I don't know where I'd be personally, and I know a lot of you would share that same sentiment. But with all the incredible work we've done as a community in these past years, we've shown that anything can be possible. So let's talk about possibility, because this is one moment. Slightly tedious, I know, we're getting there, but it's a moment, and it's a defining moment in our long lives. For after we walk across this stage today, we aren't just getting a degree or a certificate, but we are crossing into a threshold into endless possibility. Now is our time, and it's our turn to make opportunities for all of us. We have gone through the struggles, and we've made them our own. Each one of the challenges we have been presented in these past few years has given us an opportunity to grow, and we've taken every single one of them. In the, term, in the words of student life manager James Bratcher, we are locked in. So if we take one final lesson from our time here at SEC, let it be this. Together, we are unstoppable. Only together can we create a world that offers opportunities to all of us. So I challenge us to hold that ideal. Connect with each other, build bridges, and make every moment just as important as this one. Once a cougar, always a cougar. Congratulations, my fellow graduates of 2023. Thank you, Carson. At this time, we will proceed with the presentation of Associate of Arts, Associate of Fine Arts, Associate of Arts in Teaching, Associate of Science, Associate of Applied Science degrees, as well as the Certificates of Achievement and Certificates of Specialization. I will ask our Board of Trustee Vice President Selick to join in the presentation of degrees and certificates for the candidates. It's now my pleasure, <laughs> let him get up here, to introduce Paul Rosler, Professor of Political Science, who will be announcing the names of degrees and certificate candidates. Thank you, Paul. Will the first row please stand and follow the directions of our faculty commencement marshals to receive your certificates and diplomas. Ibrahim Zachariah. Claudia Abuname. Isabel Ackley. Ella Adam. Khalid Aldajani. Al 
Anastasia Alsop. Nicole Alfage. Alyssa Anton. Arminda Aravajo. Daniel Arnold. Lauren Barnes. Daniel Baumgartner. Randy Bell. Max Bender. Hannah Berger. Grant Burke. Olivia Blackshear. Joshua Bockhorst. Timmy Bayline. Samantha Birding. Sarah Bonner. Gerald Booker. Donald Borsenberger. Natalie Bowman. Nathan Brackenridge. Zach Brandt. Emma Browse. Colin Britt. Casey Brown. Amber Budd. Adriel Bunch. Lily Burkhalter. Rico Camacho. Alessandro Carbona. Brendan Carroll. Olivia Casey. Courtney Cheney. Angelina Check. Nettie Chepconi. Grace Coughlin. Jardel. Jardel Condita. Paul Corbin. Zumlema Corleas. Ewens. Brendan Cox. Emily Cox. Noah Crawford. Litzy Cruz. Grace Dameron. Noe Damien. Lauren Deer. Lauren Demsko. Kayla Denny. Precious Dent. Brooklyn DeShirley. Maria Luz de la Marina.
Rigoberto Dominguez Murillo. Tatiana Doss. Ashante Douglas. Anna Dudley. Kylie Duncan. Jacqueline Ellis. Drew Ernstmeyer. Catherine Eubanks. Hope Ferris. Casey Fisher. Thomas Flores. Nora Feller. Shannon Faust. Austin Franklin. Rachel Freezy. Heather Fry. Jenna Galkowski. Edinia Gallardo La Riva. Melissa Garcia. Gabriel Guiran. Helena Gerdeman. Yacinda Gear. Christy Gores. Kendall Govert. Jordan Gonzalez. Jacqueline Graff. Colin Graham. Isabella Green. Renee Green. Jeremy Griffin. Angela Griffey. Anna Gus. Arista Hampton. Loria Harris. Emily Harris. Erica Harvey. Mary Hawkins. Grace Hawks. Sydney Hayton. Isabella Hebden. Aubrey Hedges. Alexis Helfer. Andrew Hellman. Shane Henke. Alyssa Hennessy. Ethan Hermeyer. Caitlin Heskamp. Alan Hibbler. Grace Hill. Jasmine Hill. Chloe Hirsch. Claudia Huff. Promise Holman.
Nicole Holt. Carson Howe. Caitlin Hussman. Emma Holbert. Sean Marie Hurt. Joanna Ishawk. Leah Isom. Francesca Jelks. Haley Jenkins. Elliot Jenner. Lila Jenner. Alexander Jimenez. David Jimenez Gomez. Jana Jorling. Landon Johns. Jasmine Johnson Rechtenwald. Crystal Kearney. Kristen Keen. Danetta Keeper. Sean Kelly. Emily Kensel. Parker Killen. Emma Kovath. Jeremy Credo. Jacob Locklear. Aaron Laurent. An Lee. Mackenzie Lee. Simon Leaker. Sunshine Lempinen. Catherine Lewis. Sydney Liphart. Brianna Lindsay. Leticia Lopez Campos. Cody Love. Eris Luttrell. Alexis Lynch. Anna Lynch. Abigail Madri. Leslie Magano Toledo. Mohanad Mahmood. Abigail Maiden. Clevis Malay. Julissa Martinez. Mackenzie Massey. Cameron Matthews. Kailan Makatra. Jordan McDaniel. Tim Meadows. Taylor Menendez. Santiago Mensis.
Gwen Minear. Luke Menzi. Jermaine Mentor. Christina Merriman. Caitlin Milligan. Alejandro Molina. Maya Morgan. Benjamin Moreland. Taylor Morrison. Jason Murley. Carrie Ann Murphy. Shelby Newman. Caitlin Newman. Christina Niswanger. Lashonda Nunn. April Nuspel. Michaela Obermuller. Kara Otero. Kyle Otherson. Serena Posh. Jean Pei. Jason Pero. Mary Paris. Rhea Patel. Shailene Patel. Tony Patterson. Donna Phillips. Lucas Pins. Alexander Powell. Luke Poxon. Daniel Pratt. Enrique Perestello. Jenny Ramirez. Isaiah Ramo. Nicholas Ramsey. Chloe Real. Jordan Redner. Lillian Relenki. Derek Reynolds. David Rice. Dylan Rich. Tristan Riley. Scarlett Alexandria Rodriguez. Veronica Romeo. Rocio Romero Gayona. Scarlett Rose. Caleb Rose. Ryan Russell. Suzanne Ryan. Grace Sherman. Elizabeth Schnelli. Alyssa Schreiber. 
Xavier Schulte. Ariana Svalenstahl. Cameron Shaman. Emily Shelton. Naya Shepard. Abigail Smith. Hannah Smith. William Smith. Rebecca Schnohota. Jacob Snipes. Emily Stabil. Noel Starr. Alyssa Staten. Nicole Steffens. Felicity Stokes. Emily Strickland. Aaron Strong. Dominica Serrati. Josiah Swafford. Lily Swafford. Madison Tate. Mackenzie Taylor. Caitlin Thacker. Caleb Thomas. Michael Thompson. Ciara Thorpe. Destiny Tinker. Karen Torero Tena. Angela Traw. Aaron Travis. Denise Trescott. Abby Turner. Shaylee Turner. Iku Oresti. Edith Uribe Ortega. Lauren Van Thomas. Devin Veal. Jose Viveros. Jack Walker. Hannah Wall Howard. Hotensia Wambui. Caleb Washburn. Brianna Wasser. Elizabeth Waterman. <laughs> Kenneth Weber. <laughs> Stephanie Welch. <laughs> Christopher Wenham. <laughs> Catherine Wheeler. <laughs> Stephen Williams. Sydney Williams. <laughs> Emma Williamson. <laughs> Jennifer Willis. <laughs> Abigail Wilson. <laughs> Madison Whitman.
Montana Woodrow. Emily Yost. Jana Zahram. Yarli Zamun Kona. Lindo Zimba. Devin Fanning. Elissa Price Willis. Will the graduates please stand? Madam President, I present to you the St. Charles Community College Class of 2023. Thank you, Vice President Kaler. Graduates, you have completed the requirements for your associate degree or certificate. On the recommendation of faculty, staff, and administration of St. Charles Community College, and by virtue of the authority vested in me through the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer, confer upon each of you your respective associate degree or certificate with all the rights privileges, and honors appertaining thereunto. You may now move your tassel on your cap from the right side to the left. Congratulations, <laughs> class of 2023. Now that now your degrees and certificates, certificates have, been have been officially conferred, conferred I would like I would to like ask the graduates, graduates to please, to please turn, turn and face, face our faculty and staff and, staff and give them give a round, round of applause, applause for a job for well, job done. well done. done. In one in last one request, request, if I may, if I may None of you would be here without the support of your friends and your family and your loved ones. Do you mind please turning and facing your family and giving them a round of applause? As we begin our recessional, the stage party will be exiting first, followed by the faculty, and finally the graduates of 2023. Audience, please stand with the recessional music and remain standing in place until all of the graduates have exited. Thank you so much for joining the 2023 celebration. Congratulations, graduates. <laughs> 